I think we could all do with some warm temperatures. Maybe head there to the Mojave Desert. Let's take a look at our weather here at home. We are tracking that snowfall that will continue throughout the overnight into Monday morning. The risk here is that we could see some patchy freezing drizzle in southern Ontario. That includes the GTA. The snow that will be pushing further east throughout the morning hours. One degree to start off the day. Monday morning in Toronto, not so bad. We do have some cloud cover lingering. Again, the risk for freezing drizzle for the morning drive. Still some lingering flurries for Hamilton. Temperatures that are hovering right around that zero degree mark and that's why we could see the mixing. We are looking at one degree in Hamilton to start off the day. It will be a bit breezy tomorrow. One for your morning hours in Oshawa. Stepping out the door, you will need that jacket. We are still dealing with the snow that's covering the ground and the sidewalks. And as we head throughout the afternoon, temperatures are going to warm up. We are expecting a high of five in Toronto. This is very good news for many of us who have been waiting to see temperatures closer to seasonal. These are just slightly above. In St. Catharines, we're looking at a high of six. In London, six degrees still to the north, dealing with some active weather, the snow, but even the snow rain mix for others. The melting, that will be the story, but we have seen that snow, and that's going to continue throughout the overnight. My name's Michelle Nelson. Thanks for staying with us. We even have the risk for some patchy freezing drizzle for your Monday morning. So take care. Give yourself some extra time on the roads. What a difference from last weekend into this weekend. Here's a comparison from March 1st to March 8th. Now, not too much of a difference in Toronto, but the further north you go, it was feeling a lot warmer, especially when we factor in the wind chill and those wind chills that we were dealing with last week. As we head towards your Monday morning, temperatures will be on the rise into the afternoon. Still cool for the morning, so you will need that warm jacket. You'll need the gloves and the toque. The snow, that will continue throughout the overnight, but pushing further east, locally higher amounts in areas, including Kingston. We could even see some lake effect there. But much of the Great Lakes that are covered in ice we have a roughly 90% of the lakes that are covered right now as of this weekend. Windy conditions are expected as we head throughout the day on Monday. We are going to see that warmer air push in. Now, as we head throughout Monday evening into Tuesday, north of the 401, we're expecting to see some light snow pushing east into Ottawa. Here's what you can expect for your next seven days. If you are in Guelph, we're looking at a high of five for Monday. Now, most of the snow, that will be throughout the morning, but it will push east as you head to work in the morning. The risk there is for the mixing as temperatures hover around the zero degree mark. So the risk for freezing drizzle on top of that snow. Four degrees for your daytime high Tuesday. It will clear throughout the day on Monday into Tuesday. Still some lingering cloud cover. And we're looking at minus three temperatures cool off by Wednesday. Stay with us. Coming up, we will have some stunning video from this week's Time Lapse Tuesday. So the sun sets a little later, and that will make it feel more spring-like out there for many of us. The bad news for those of you who had to get up early this morning, well, you didn't get that hour of sleep that many of us needed. On our website, theweathernetwork.com, we have a story for you under Insider Insights. Daylight saving time, facts and tips. We'll have some tips for you coming up. Many are talking about this on social media. Some don't seem to mind the time change, including this one. Summer Lover says, not me an hour closer to boarding a cruise ship. Well, that's nice, going somewhere sunny, I'm sure. Not everybody is enjoying it. Kat says she woke up early to go for a long run. Not my best idea so far today. I'm sure you're quite tired after that. And another one I just want to share with you here. No troubles working one hour less on the night shift. Well, that's always good news. So we do have some tips for those of you. Maybe you're like me and you do have trouble adjusting to the time change. Some tips to improve your sleep quality. You can exercise two to three hours before bed. That always helps. Avoid using Using computers or phones in bed or at least an hour before bed and drink warm tea or relaxing tea hot water and lemon that's always a good option there with no caffeine of course or take a hot bath with Epsom salts to help you relax and maybe that will help you sleep hours the big story in Alberta that has been the warm-up patio weather this weekend in southern parts of the province this photo was posted to our Facebook page Rhonda thank you so much for sending this in this is from Medicine Hat. The photo is actually taken from Maple Creek. 
And uh, she says that with these double digit temperatures that have been pushing in Maple Creek, Saskatchewan, we have streams flowing in the streets. Of course, not the best news with all of that melting. So how long will the warmth last? We will have all those details coming up. Stay with us for that. Gray skies are going to clear up, so put on a happy face. Coming up.